Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us on your Monday morning. Not a bad day to go golfing, especially later on. Might be a little chilly this morning, but temperatures will be warming up pretty quickly as we'll see those southerly winds increase throughout the day, too. Temperatures this afternoon are set to be in the 60s for most of us. Might even see a few places in the low 70s, too. Lots of sunshine taking place as well. So, really, hopefully, you can get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather that will be taking place today and the next couple of days as well. But a little chilly this morning. And this is 24 or also there at North Platte. But it is a little warmer. York sitting at 32 this morning, as well as over in Kansas. And it is a little warmer yet. 38 Ainsworth, 43 this hour at Hastings. So temperatures are kind of all over the place. 20s and 30s for most of us. Once again, they'll be more consistent in the 60s and 70s this afternoon. Wind speeds at the moment, they're nice and light. 5 to 10 miles an hour, if that. Those winds, pretty variable as well. But those have more of a southerly and southeasterly component taking place throughout the day. And those winds, they could be a little windy. Of course, expecting wind gusts, maybe 30 miles an hour or so, especially off to our west. I think those western areas will be favoring those windier conditions. We do have a red flag warning that will go into effect at 11 a.m. Central Time for some of our southwestern counties. So do look out. Critical fire conditions could be in place to go along with the very dry weather that's set to take place for today. And speaking of the elevated fire concerns there across parts of our westernmost county, so places like Benkelman, Imperial, Ogallala, I want to take that extra step and just making sure <clears throat> that those fire conditions are in place today. Otherwise, not a whole lot happening here at the moment. Pretty dry weather, clear skies taking place. Have a few clouds there off of the panhandle that are trying to work their way in, but lots of sunshine set to be in store for us today. High pressure over the area. Dry weather expected the next few days and really not expecting much in the way of precipitation until this upcoming weekend. Finally get a rain chance for us back into the picture maybe next Sunday. So a dry stretch of weather, a windy stretch though for the next several days. I think today and tomorrow probably going to be our windiest days for the next week. Thursday also looks to be a little bit windy as well. But enjoy these great temperatures today. 67 for an afternoon high. Sunshine in abundance for us today. 42 for the low tonight. Those winds still going to be at it, which will help those temperatures stay a little more mild tonight. 69 for a high tomorrow. A little bit warmer, of course, southern and breezy yet again. Temps today, mainly 60s and low 70s are possible for us. We'll see temperatures tonight pretty mild, really, 30s and 40s. Maybe some 20s there off to our west, but temperatures tomorrow look pretty similar to what we see today. 60s and low 70s for us yet again. And even progressing into the middle part of the week, Wednesday probably going to be our warmest day of the next week here. So you get a couple of very nice days. Go out to the pumpkin patch, have a little fun outside. Definitely take advantage of this nicer weather because some changes are coming here towards the end of the forecast period. We'll see a roller coaster of those temperatures return starting on Thursday. As temperatures drop into the 60s for us. It's still very mild, but temperatures back in the 50s on Friday as the cold front comes through late Thursday. We'll see another cold front come through Saturday night. We could see some, maybe some rain Saturday night and into Sunday as well. So temperatures will be affected. Of course, it's cooler, but still seasonal. It's kind of hard to believe, Sarah. Yeah, still in the 50s. Yeah. Just beautiful. And you're, you're still trying to get people to golf yeah. and out to the pumpkin patch Absolutely. in November. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I know. Weather, right? Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. You got it.